Hey everyone, this is Newman here with 910 Airgun Tuning and Repairs. Today we will be reviewing one of the FX Airgun's AMP or AMP regulators. This regulator is found in late model Impact X, all Impact Mark IIs, Crowns, and the bottle versions of the Dreamline. This is also known as the Bottle AMP Regulator since it only goes in guns with bottles. This is how you will view the regulator when it is in your gun, but this is how it looks when you fully remove it out of the rifle. In this video, I will be going over which o-rings cause the regulator to leak and which ones cause regulator creep. First of all, I wanted to mention that the bottle AMP regulator will have 11 spring washers in total. These are stacked in a cupped formation, so five sets of two cupped together and then one final spring washer facing up or cupped towards the actual bottom of the regulator housing. Now a quick overview of the other parts. We have the regulator piston which has only one o-ring. Next we have the regulator housing. And lastly we have the regulator screw which is located inside the housing. Let's start with the leak areas. The first o-ring we will identify is this o-ring, the outer regulator housing o-ring. When this o-ring fails, it will leak out the top, or face, of the regulator. The leak will be around the outer rim of the face. If the face is leaking from the inner rim, it will be the upper o-ring on the regulator screw. Here is the upper o-ring on the regulator screw. This is how the regulator screw is positioned inside the regulator for an easier reference. These are the upper and lower o-rings on the regulator screw. Upper o-ring leaks upwards while the lower o-ring leaks downward. Lower o-ring leaking downwards actually causes regulator creep which we will address later on in the video. Back to the regulator housing, we have one more o-ring that can cause a leak. This is the inner regulator housing o-ring located here inside this rim. The function of this o-ring is to seal against the regulator piston creating the pressure chamber of the regulator. The inner regulator housing o-ring will leak through the atmosphere hole, otherwise known as the vent hole, on the side of the rifle's action. For the Dreamline bottle adapter, this hole is located on the front of the adapter facing the bottle. Here is another o-ring that can cause a leak. This is the inner action o-ring, which sits inside of a groove in the board made for the regulator. The purpose of this o-ring is to seal the smooth outer portion of the bottom of the regulator housing. If this o-ring is leaking, it will also be leaking out of the atmosphere leak hole. Now to the regulator piston. As mentioned before, it only has one o-ring. This is the last o-ring in the regulator that can cause a leak. It will also leak out of the atmosphere leak hole. We can now look into what causes regulator creep. Regulator creep is when the regulator pressures rise without you adjusting them. This can cause unexpected FPS variants, which might make you miss your shot. There are two parts of the regulator that can cause creep. First location is the lower o-ring on the regulator screw. There is an extremely small hole in the regulator screw directly above the lower o-ring. This accepts air from a slightly larger hole in the side of the regulator housing. This air originally is supplied directly from the bottom. Air then passes through the small hole out the bottom. That is where the air pressurizes against the piston. The regulator air then passes through the small hole in the top of the regulator piston and out the bottom into the valve assembly. If air leaks past the lower regulator screw o-ring, it will cause an excess of air from the supply to press against the regulator piston, thus increasing regulator pressure. Most of the time, this results in the regulator pressure matching the tank pressure. The other cause of regulator creep is a damaged regulator piston. Damage can occur from normal wear and tear but most of the time it is caused by using the regulator at pressures close to or over its maximum pressure. For the AMP regulator, the maximum pressure is suggested to be 170 bar. Damage to the piston can cause the spring washers to overcompress, which will continually cause more and more damage until the piston is replaced. Allowing regulator creep to go on for too long can cause damage to your spring washers as well as other o-rings and seals throughout the rest of your rifle. And there you have it folks. 
here's your regulator once again completely disassembled with the washers back on um, some other quick tips and facts about the regulator like I said this amp regulator you have 11 washers lined up here they're in sets of two one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven they the first five sets are cupped toward each other so one cup that way one cup that way one cup that way one cup that way and etc uh, the final one will always be cupped up towards the top of the regulator it'll always be cupped up so that's the best way for the configuration that's how that comes from factory um, there are other configurations for the regulator on the internet that you may cho choose to change the stacks if you wish um, as far as o-ring sizes I'll go over real quick for the amp regulator this is once again the amp regulator the new one the 10 millimeter regulator so first off the 7.5 by 2 millimeter NBR or otherwise known as Bona BUNA 90 o-ring uh, that's the strength is the that that's the Bona also stands for or, or you can also say durometer durometer 90 on the inside that o-ring in there that is a 4 by 1.5 millimeter NBR 70 or durometer 70 o-ring this is a 10 by 1.5 NBR 90 bona 90 or durometer 90 o-ring this o-ring is another 4 by 1.5 millimeter NBR 70 or durometer 70 o-ring and both of these o-rings right here are 2 by 1 millimeter NBR 90 or durometer 90 o-rings your regulator housing is 19697-1 piston is 19696 regulator screws 19695 if you're ordering those parts from FX USA if here's some quick size comparisons for the old regulator and I say old as in the old 8mm regulator it has smaller washers smaller housing uh, it can have a shorter piston and has a smaller outside o-ring these washers are 10 mil 10 millimeter they are for the amp regulator they only work with the amp regulator they are part number part number 19796 and that'll be for a set of 11 of them these are the 8 millimeter washers spring washers for the old regulator they will be part number 19796-1 and that'll be for a kit of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 that'll be for a kit of 15 of them um, honestly, if you need more washers than 15, you can just call FX USA, tell them what, um, how many washers you need in the kit. For the non-amp, the old regulator, it is 19697. Here we go for the pistons. This is used uh, for the all the crown, uh, dream bottle, and uh, for the last three generations of the impact. This is the long 16 millimeter piston, 19696. This short piston over here was only used in the first generation of the impact, made until uh, May 2017. This is 19696 1. Um, this is very rarely used. This right here is for the amp regulator, it is a 10 by 1.5 MBR 90 O ring. This one right here is for the non-amp regulator, the older style, the 8mm. This is a 9 by 1.5 NBR 90 O-ring. They're both durometer 90. Um, back to the smaller reg housing, I forgot to mention that this O-ring is actually 7.66 by 1.78 or NBR 70, durometer 70 O-ring. And that about wraps it up. Um, th these are the different regulators right here. And I'll show a quick uh, picture of them put together.
All right, so there's some pictures of them. Uh, again, this main video was about this. The, the, the leaking and the creep is the same for both regulators. Um, this is the regulator that's in guns now. This is in the Impact, this is in the Crown, this is in the Dream Bottle Edition. If it has a bottle adapter, the bottle adapter actually has this regulator in it and that's what you're adjusting. Alright, that's all. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, leave comments or uh, shoot, shoot me a message on Instagram and I'll be able to answer anything you have. Uh, if you need any parts, if you need to repair anything, please call or email FXUSA. Uh, they can take care of you. They can get you replacement parts if you need it. And they can also help you troubleshoot any issues you're having. Alright, hope you have a great one.